Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to creepy, 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 creepy house. I don't want to be here. I think we have to go upstairs. That's what I'm gonna assume. And I'm gonna make a really light of all of this so that way, hopefully, nothing doesn't scare the crap out of me. I'm just gonna talk 24 7. So hopefully, nothing scares the crap out of me. Yep, 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 it's fine, I see you. Your picture is gross. Oh, look, a plant. It looks like... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, oh, okay. Oh, is this them? Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Okay. But dang it, I just played Andromeda where the scan button is the down on the D-pad. So I'm all messed up. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. Yeah. Let me loot it. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it's going to be useful to me. Yay, there's still some books intact. Uh, okay, that's the way out. I can't go out. Can I go through here? Um, okay, well now I don't know where to go. They're both locked. Those are both locked. Can I... Nope. Okay, well the only other open room is over here. Oh, can I go out? Ah! Aha! Yeah, I see you. This wasn't your guys' room, was it? I don't know. But there she is over there. She's going to be right there. Cutscene. Hang on. Uh, oh, buddy. Hang on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. she did to the hallway. Okay, okay, okay. I need to use... Um... Not cursed. Insectoid. Draconite. Necrophage. Spectre. Spectre oil on. Um... Moon dust. Yes. Come on out. Quick, 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 quick. Amateur art. Oh, yeah, it would be over here. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm almost out of moon dust. Oh, buddy. Wait, wait. No. 
can I? What? Can I hit the painting? Ah! I'm, I'm I'm mightily confused. House is on fire. Are we reliving memories or what? That chamber. I was supposed to be here. There she is. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. <sighs> this some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? <gasps> Surprised? No, not at all. No! <laughs> her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Oh, okay. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. 
Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I have her body, I assume. Maybe next to this little chair. Oops. Dang it. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. There's a grave right there. Iris will never wreck adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. Well, I'd put her next to the flowers. I wouldn't dig up the flowers. That'd be kind of pointless. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. So they knew her while she was alive, then. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? <sighs> See how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. So I, don't, I didn't really catch what was said there. Dang it! Uh, she and she says something about how she didn't want to be alone. Can't say much about Iris von Eberich, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome. Hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. Ooh, that was good. I'm glad we I'm glad we caught that. Grab that from the, the house. Remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath. Forget your grief. Show yourself. What she was wearing, I don't think. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Hmm. Was it the flower? Or a request? Should I follow you? All right. A what? We're gonna hop on into a painting? That's a thing we can do, apparently? All right, um, that's fine. It's cool, it's whatever. It's just, we're gonna hop on into a painting. This has become Blue's Clues all of a sudden. Is it gonna look what like a painting? Yes, it's gonna look like a painting. 
Oh. Oh, hey. The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. So was she actually married to Ogier at any point? Like I thought, I can't remember. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. Hmm. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Man, she must have a terrible afterlife. Easy to say. Oh boy. Whoa, this is crazy cool. Like Geralt still like uh no, she's afraid of spiders apparently. Oops. I forgot that was the one I had equipped. Okay. Interesting. Okay, um. Fighting specters. Oops. Uh, I guess Quinn is as good a better as any. Geert and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. Oh, okay. They're like exchanging a, a drink or something? Wine cup, just like the one Olgeard's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. Why is she wearing black? In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Being followed by spiders! <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Uh-huh. Wraith? 
Yeah, well, I don't like the dance it's doing. No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized. One you must now face. Yeah, how about no? How about no? How about no? What? So we're not right here. Another dream of the past. Bet this one's incomplete too. Oh. But there's a family here. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. Wow. A lavish feast. Trying to impress the guests. Uh oh. Who's 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 you know, whose families are what's, you know what I mean? Just a little different than the Estelle Rebello. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. A Toussaint! That's where we're gonna be going next. Do I need to ignite the candles or. Oh. Sir. Olgird's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. What? what I needed to do but oh well let's like this one put some light in this room I'm trying to see if there's anything oh well how about that oh this is the painting oh that painted there we need to pick up this and put it in the center of the table oh the last two set of candles isn't lit aha <laughs> Is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? Are those her parents? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. What? So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Okay. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? What? So this is a specter of old gear she's afraid of. So let's follow him. Okay. Don't like this place. So she is afraid of old gear a little bit. Hmm. Oh boy, I really don't want to re- no, I don't- Don't want to relive this! Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Towel stained with blood. Mm, I don't want to know what kind. Wake's almost gone. Did she paint it? Oh, there he is. Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. Okay. Interact. Hold up, hold up. Uh, the towel. What, what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. <laughs> Come, I shall finish your portrait. Well, he needs to sleep. Another blurred memory. We need to put the lamp up next to him. Oh, maybe not. She painted all geared. The details are off. Living Tableau's missing something. He's missing fruit. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Is he holding one in his hands? Oh. Well, um... I thought it was fruit. Oh, okay. There is a goblet on the... Living Tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Okay, so the goblet is on the right next to his elbow, and the fruit's on the left. Do I have to remember exactly which fruit goes where? Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Oh my god, right, right, right. The grapes are kind of in the. Okay, the goblet's on the right. Here. Yeah! What? Okay, goblin in the middle then. Maybe on this side. And the grapes were on the left. Fits, I think. And the apples on the right. This goes here. Finally, just like the picture. Yay! Smile a bit wider. Like this. <laughs> you were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? <laughs> You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Old Geard, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Old Geard. Old Geard. Well, fine then. Oh, hiya. 
I knew there was gonna be some in here. Do I still have any specter goo? Okay, what the heck? Why is my sword messed up again? I'm so fast. Okay. Now what kind of damage does it have done to it? Jeez. 46%! Oh my gosh. Okay, well then, no wonder. Where's my hundred... My master's... Yes. There we go. And... Let's put on the specter oil again. Let's see. Also, should put Come back to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is gonna happen here. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Oh, is that what he did? Uh, so she's gonna stumble upon his uh. To bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. Okay. Give me some chalk. All right. Well, I'll pick up the candles. These wax candles. He really just left this wide open. Oh. The gates of mystery between worlds. The library of an occultist. Of all the beings inhabiting the outer spheres, the spirits of the elementals are the most foreign to human nature. They possess a will of their own and are intelligent, though not in the way of men. For there is no way to fathom their drives and intentions. Genies, the most powerful of the elemental spirits, prove the most difficult for men to commune with. Only the true masters of magic have perfected this art, which demands long years of study and risky experiments. Yet even the most adept of the magic arts cannot tame a genie, merely forced to perform certain acts against his own volition. They say the mage Stamilford once commanded a Dao to move a mountain blocking the view from his tower, but even he could never convince a genie to be a willing helpmate in his work or to give sound advice, for the reasoning of these creatures is beyond human understanding. Oh my gosh, is our friend Odimon or whatever uh, a genie? Uh, chop, 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 chop. Oh, um. What's... Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Hmm. Okay. Chalk. Piece of chalk. Examine what? Examine this? Blood. Or some kind of magic, I bet. Okay. Uh huh. Another one. Blood packs are on foreign presences! Blood packs or on foreign presences. Hmm. The tome about parleying with demons. Oh, buddy! I So he has his wife. Why is he going to all this trouble now? Like... And the debts were paid off. It seems like he just made a situation harder by being proud about it. Whosoever summons a visitant into our realm risks much, whether flickering as a spirit in the ether or inhabiting the flesh of a designated host. The visitant shall strive to attain its liberty, and if it does, it shall wreak great havoc. Thus, a visitant must be summoned only within a protective circle, which shall bind it as no fetters could. The circle must be complete and eternal with no rupture. This line must be drawn with a steed steady hand, firmly gripping the chalk. Since a stray step made through carelessness or the Vistan's trickery can smudge the line, the circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. The circle thus protected shall stand as a sure and inescapable prison for the Vistan. We're gonna be summoning a demon. This is great. This is fine. Everything's fine. We're just gonna be summoning demons. We're literally summoning demons. Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. I don't know how to summon black magic. I didn't see anything. Don't you place them on like the um I thought you surrounded the circle with them. 
On the circle surrounding the pentagram. I think so. How about this? Come back. We must talk. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. I love how we get this, like, you know, woman in desperation and she's, like, you know, half naked. Can't just have her wearing nice pajama pants or anything. Nope, we gotta cop a look at the tragic lady. Shouldn't he not be inside? Oh no. He's gonna summon it outside? And he's gonna be safe on the inside? Or aren't you supposed to summon it on the inside and then you're safe on the outside? You're seriously gonna risk summoning what dark magic? Must I use, damn it. I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. Oh! Oh. Damn it. Uh-oh. Fire! In here, quickly! The veins! Douse the veins! <coughs> I did not expect that. Uh-oh. Um. Out, 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 out. Lock. Oh. Let's find another way out. Okay. Locked. Locked. Oh, out the paint, out the painting, 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 go out the painting, go out the painting. 